And you know, this is very long to make this type of thing. Yes. So what we have to do now is to fold the fabric in half and make it double, right? Yes. And of course, I want to keep the dots on the outside, yes? There are several ways, but maybe we should measure the edges first. I think it's about two centimeter long. Yes. Not, it's too. not accurate though. It's two. Now, on one end of my fabric, it's a little less than two centimeters. Yeah. But on the other end, it's a little more than two centimeters. Does that matter if the seam allowance is a little smaller on one side than the other? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't have to be so accurate. The dot dots are only printed in here, not right. in here. So, you should measure how long you have on the edge and it's about two centimeter long so you should make two, two centimeter long allowance here as well in the center part oh, so i should unfold it and i should mark it again yes okay and how many marks do you make up the side or do you just do one long line all the way down? I think I marked three. Okay. And do the same thing at this side of the... It's a little more than three quarters. So I draw one line here in the center and one more line here at the very end okay um i do have a question yes. was was i supposed to do a line two centimeters from the dots or two centimeters from the fold of the fabric two centimeters from the dots from the dots now i have the dots in the center and about two centimeters of allowances around the dots. It's pretty much exactly where the fabric was already folded. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure if I should draw this line or not. I thought perhaps that I was supposed to draw the line on the other side of the fold because we were gonna match up the two halves somehow. Uh, you know, look at mine. My line is not the same with the folded. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important to measure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You've got to measure. So this is already prepared to be stitched. And when you look at the edge, it's folded inside. Yes, I see. So you should make like this. Okay, you can do that. Okay, then I will show you two ways. One is to fold in, in here, so on the line, the mm -hmm. line you marked. So you see, when you see the fabric, 
this side and this side is already hemmed, so you don't have to stitch. Right. Okay, so we only have to stitch these sides. So now here is folded. This side is folded. You, you pinned the sides that are hemmed already. I pinned here and here. Yeah, those are the sides that are already finished, yes? Hmm, yeah. So, what I want to do is to fold this side of the edge inside. Okay. But before do, so doing that, we should fold it to make a crease. Because we don't have a line on the back. Just fold this side to the inside. So, and you should do it on both sides. So, I'm gonna crease along the line that I drew, and then I'm turning it over and folding it in the other way too. And do you pin these edges together? Yes. Okay. You know, my line here was far from the folded line. Mm -hmm. And in that case, when I fold on the line, I didn't have the enough length for the back. Oh. So. Huh. In that case, maybe you should just hold more closer to the folded line. Okay. So that you can adjust it. Well, I got lucky this time around and my folded line was very close to my drawn line. Yeah. Okay, I am pinned and ready. My edges are turned under. I'm going to flip my fabric over. So now, all you have to do is just stitch. Stitch. Okay, great. And I'm just using a regular sewing needle, a regular sharp needle. Yeah. I'm going to start with a size five, see how that feels. Mm -hmm. So to baste, I will do a very long running stitch all the way around. Yeah. So it's easy to remove the stitches later. And it won't take long. No, it shouldn't. I'm just going to kind of accordion fold as I stitch to get those nice big stitches together. And that makes a stitch like this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I can see. The white on the blue. I have only ever taken one other Sashiko class mm -hmm. before this, and we did not learn how to prepare the fabric. We just learned how to do the stitches and we left the edges raw. Mm -hmm. So this is all new for me. You stitch on the doubled fabric? Uh, I don't think it was doubled. No, I think it was just single. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm halfway done.
And sometimes I stitch the center part as well. I baste the center part so that it won't move. But that makes sense. it's an option. So the purpose of to double the fabric is to make it thick, of course. Mm -hmm. Because when we use them as a dishcloth, yes. the layer of this fabric is too thin. Yes. It probably doesn't dry very well if you've only got one layer. Mm. So to make it thick is the one purpose, of course. But the other purpose is to make the backside beautiful. It is beautiful. So this is the front side, and this is the back side. Oh, look at that! Sashiko is very interesting, and especially in Kohitome Zashi, some of the pattern looks beautiful on both sides. Yeah, but so different. Yeah, this is so different, but this one looks almost the same. Akin yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and this one, actually, this is the back pattern, back side pattern. And this is the front pattern. Huh. But I liked the back more, so I put it on the front. <laughs> I mean, when it's two sided like that, how can you even tell what's the front and what's the back? <laughs> yeah, I know. So, to make the reversible, to make it reversible, we should make the fabric. You should double the fabric because if you double it, you can hide the knots in between the layers. Yeah. And there, there are some unique techniques to stitch on both sides beautiful, but to double the fabric is a very important key. Mm -hmm. 